Let's take a look at the circles questions. And we can use a calculator for these questions because we will be using pi a lot, uh, pi 3.14, it's quite a nasty number to use if you're not using a calculator. Question one, we don't need a calculator though, nice and easy. What does letter A represent? Well, it's the line from one side of the circle to the other, cuts through the center, that is a diameter. Uh, B is a line from the center to the edge of the circle, which is a radius, which is half the length of the diameter. C, nice and easy, that's just the center of the circle. And D, the, the edge of the circle um, is called the circumference. Question number two, we've been told that pi is 3.14, but for a lot of these uh, questions, we don't even need to use pi. Um, so we need to work out the diameter of a circle that's got a radius of one meter. Well, the diameter is always double the length of the radius. So we just need to double one, which is two. So the diameter is two. So pi was not needed for that question. For 2b, we want the radius when we know that the diameter is 10 centimeters. Well, the radius is half the length of the diameter. So divide 10 by two, we get the radius of five centimeters. Now we're going to be using pi. We need to work out the circumference. Now the formula for a circumference is pi times by the diameter. Now if the radius is three, then the diameter is six. So our calculation is six times 3.14. So that is going to be 18.84 centimeters. For D, again, the circumference, that's pi times the diameter. Luckily, they've given us the diameter, so that's 3.14 multiplied by 28, and that comes to a total of 87.92 centimeters. And E, we're now onto area. Now, the formula for the area of a circle is pi r squared. So that's gonna be pi, 3.14, times by the radius, times by the radius. And that comes to a total of 0 0.785 and the unit, if the radius is in meters, then the area is meter squared. 2F, we need to work out the area where the diameter is two kilometers. Now the formula is pi r squared, so we need the radius. So the radius is half the diameter, so it's gonna be 3.14, that's pi, times by half of two is one, times one times one, which is simply 3.14. And again, that is gonna be squared kilometers because it's an area we're calculating here. Here we've been given the circumference and we need to work backwards to the radius. Now the formula for the circumference is pi times by the diameter. So we know that pi times by the diameter is 314. So in order to work out the radius, let's work out the diameter first of all. So if pi multiplied by the diameter is 314, then the diameter is gonna be 314 divided by pi. And 314 divided by um, 3.14 is 100. So the diameter is 100. So therefore the radius is half of that. So the radius is gonna be 50 meters. H is quite tricky. Um, we want to work out the area of the circle. Now the area, or well, the formula for the area is pi r squared. Now we need to work out what r is. So we're gonna to have to work out somehow from the fact that we know that the circumference is 628, what the radius is. Now the formula for the circumference is pi times by the diameter. So pi times the diameter is 628. So what we're doing now is basically what we're doing in 2G, we're working out what the diameter is. So the diameter is gonna be 628 divided by 3.14 and 628 divided by 3.14 is 200. So the diameter is 200, therefore the radius is 100. So the area of a circle with a radius of 100 is gonna be 3.14 times by 100 times by 100. And that comes to a grand total of 31,400 and that's gonna be square millimeters. Quite a tricky one, 2H. Here we need to find the circumference, so that's pi times the diameter. So 3.14 times the radius is five, then the diameter is 10, so 31.4 centimeters. For B, it's simply 3.14 times by uh, one, so that's 3.14 centimeters. For C, 
it's 3.14 multiplied by 88 and 3.14 times 88 is 276.32 millimeters and for D we've been given a radius so therefore the diameter is 240 meters so 3.14 times 240 that comes to 753.6 meters question number four we want the area now the area is pi r squared so here we've got a diameter so if the diameter is 12 then the radius is 6 so it's going to be 3.14 times by 6 times by 6 and that comes to 113.04 square centimeters b is simply 3.14 times 9 times 9 which comes to 254.34 square millimeters c is going to be um, 3.14 times 126 times 126 and that comes to 49,850.64 square meters and for D we've been told that the um, the diameter is 99 so therefore the radius is going to be half that so it's going to be 49.5 so 3.14 times 49.5 times 49.5 and all of that comes to a total of 7,693.785 square millimetres. Question number five, the first thing we need to do is work out the area of the farmer's field. Well, the area of a circle is pi r squared, so it's gonna be 3.14 times 90 times by 90. So the area of the field is going to be 25,434 square metres. So if one sheet needs 250 square meters, we need to work out how many 250s go into that um, big number there. So the calculation is 25,434 divided by 250, and that comes to 101.736. Now, since it's impossible for the farmer to put 0.736 of a sheep into the field, therefore it's gonna be rounded down to 100 sheep. Even though this number is nearer 102 than 101, if the farmer puts 102 sheep in, then he's exceeded the 250 square meters per sheep that, he, that is needed. Um, part B is exactly the same, except instead of dividing by 250, we're dividing by 350. So that comes to 72 and two thirds cows, or 72.6 recurring cows. Obviously, you can't put two thirds of a cow into the field, so that's just gonna be 72 cows. And question number six, what is the area of the clock face? So the clock face is circular, so it's this circle. Now the circle is inside a square, which is three by three. So therefore the diameter of this circle is three. So if the diameter is three, then the radius is 1.5. So the area is gonna be 3.14 times by 1.5 times by 1.5. And that comes to 7.065 square meters. The area of the wall is simply three times three, which is nine square meters. And the area of the shaded region, well, that is the area of the square minus the area of the circle. So nine minus 7.065, and that works out as 1.935 square meters.